Hello everyone, welcome to this brief tutorial on converting a JPEG to a SVG for use with Glowforge. This tutorial will cover the steps in Inkscape, a free image editing software you can download. You can, however, use whatever software you prefer. The process will be mostly the same. With our image open, we need to create vector paths. First, click your image. Then, click Path and Trace Bitmap. To the right, or in a pop-up, you should see options for Trace Bitmap. Find the drop-down with Brightness Cutoff, and instead select Edge Detection. Then, click Update for a preview of your path. Finally, Click Apply. You should see a dark outline of your original image. Since we no longer need the original image, we need to click it to select it and then delete it. Now we need to color the image. Glowforge recognizes each color as its own layer. The more colors we use, the more layers we get, the more flexibility we have with our image. For this example, we only need three layers. One for the characters, one for the background, one for the border. To color an area, click Fill Bounded Areas. At the bottom of the screen, choose your color, any color besides red or one you've already chosen. Then, click the area that you wish to fill with the chosen color. Here, I'm starting with the characters. When you've finished filling one layer, click Select and Transform Objects, and click away from your image. Then select Fill Bounded Areas again, select a new color, and fill the next layer. With each layer filled with a different color, we're ready to set one more layer that we'll use as a cut on the Glowforge. On the left, select Create Rectangles and Squares. Then, at the bottom, select No Fill, the X. Then, click and drag your square over the image. We are nearly done. We only need to save it as a SVG. Click File, click Save As. Then for Save as Type, click the drop down and select Plain SVG. Give your file a name, then click Save. Congratulations, you've converted a JPEG into a SVG which can let you create some amazing things with our Glowforge laser cutter. If you're working on a library computer, make sure to upload your file to OneDrive. If you're having trouble with any of these steps, feel free to contact the library and ask for help.